Welcome to 5 Minutes with Mr. Graham. We're going to talk about ordered pairs and graphing points today. Let's start our timer and see if we can learn something in 5 easy minutes. Timer's on. Here we go. Now the first thing you have to know about uh, ordered pairs and graphing points is what is an ordered pair? An ordered pair is organized in the X comma Y format. Um, the first number is always for the X axis, and the second number is always for the Y axis. As you can see over here to the right, we have a uh, 3 comma 5. 3 is for the X, Y, I mean 5 is for the Y. 3, 5 is our ordered pair here. Now if we go to the next page, you'll see... Um, a small grid with the ordered pair 2 comma 3 and hopefully you see that the first number is the X and the third the second number the 3 is for the Y axis now this is what I mean by that See this line right here on the bottom this red line that is the X axis the second line going up is the y-axis and that's always true that's always the same so when someone gives you an ordered pair 2 comma 3 in this case you want to make sure that you start at 0 first you start at 0 and since the first number stands for the x-axis we move along the x-axis however large that number is that first number is a 2 so we're going to move to 2 the second number is for the y-axis, so we move up the y as long as the second number says, which is 3. And then we look at where our x-axis number took us, the 2, as you can see right there. And we look at where our y-axis number took us, the 3, as you can see right there. And they, you have to see where they both meet together in a straight line. And in this case, it's that point right there. That is 2 comma 3. We went over 2, 1, 2, and then we went up 3. 1, 2, 3. And we landed there. Let's try practicing with uh, these points. You can see R, Z, T, X, L, and N. I'll give you a second to think about it before I spoil it for you. But uh, first of all, what do you suppose the ordered pair is for this R right here? Think about it. We don't move at all this way, so we stay put. That makes it 0 for the x-axis. But we do go up 1, so that makes it 1 for the y-axis. How about for Z? Well, for Z, we move over uh, 1, 2, and we move up. 3. 1, 2, 3. So that means 2 is first for the over, 3 is second for the up and down. First you crawl, then you climb. How about T? Well, for T, you move over 2, 1, 2. You can use your finger and trace it up. Yep, yep, yep. And then how far do we go up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Look, it's lined up with that 5. So that makes T 2 comma 5. Notice what it has in common with um, what T has in common with the Z. They both have that 2 in common. And that makes sense because they both went over 2. See, they're both over the 2. But, but T is higher. It went higher up. It went high up to 5. Well, Z only went high up to 3, and you can see that represented in their ordered pairs. Let's do X now. X, you have to go over 4, good job, and you have to go up, what, 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 4. So over 4, up 4 is 4, comma 4. How about this N? We have to go over 6. Uh, oh look, up 6. So that means it's going to be 6, comma, 6. 
And last but not least, let's do this L. Think about it. I'll give you a little extra time. How far over did we go for the L? You start at zero, and you wait till you match up with the L, and you see that we went to five. There's our timer. We're almost done. And then how far up did we go? Let's see. We went up. We went up. What are we matched up with over here? We're matched up with this two. So it's the x-axis number first, the five, the y-axis number second, that's the two. So L is five comma two. All right, guys, we're a little bit over time as usual. Thank you for joining me for ordered pairs and graphing the points. I'll see you next time. Bye.